So I've been teaching people to make coffee for over 10 years. And if I've learnt one thing during that time, it's not something for everybody. One thing I do know is that everybody loves the taste of great coffee, but maybe they don't want the complexity of learning how to be a barista. So what we've done at Sage, with the Oracle, we've automated the most difficult parts of manual espresso. We've built a grinder right into the machine, but not just a grinder, it also doses and tamps perfectly every single time you use the machine. Take the groove handle out of the groove head, insert it into our grinder cradle, and just bump to the right to start. Let's have a look how we've done. Perfect. So we've controlled two of the three critical variables. So if the flow of extraction's not quite right, all we need to do is adjust grind fineness until we get the right rate of flow. Just insert into our group head and immediately press our one cup button. And we're looking for our espresso extraction to drop from our spouts at around 11 or 12 seconds on our shot clock. The coffee should be pouring really dark, slow, with consistency of warm honey and our single shot has stopped at around 22 seconds. So we know we've got the right volume of espresso uh, to give us good flavor balance in a single cup. All we need to do now is just texture some milk, so let's get that started. So with our Oracle, we can adjust the level of texture from latte all the way up to cappuccino. So that's lighter texture up to heavier texture. We can also adjust the final temperature of our milk from 50 degrees up to 75 degrees. If you can grab your milk and your pitcher straight from the fridge before your texture, you'll always get a better result. Always purge before your texture, so just tap down, purges any condensed water out of our steam system. It's always great to fill your jug up just to the bottom of the V. That's the right amount of texture for if you're doing a single cup of coffee. If you're doing two cups, start with it maybe about half an inch above the V. So let's just put it underneath our steam wand and we'll start the texturing. And just tap down to start. So while our milk's being textured, we've got live temperature feedback on our LCD display, so you can see the progress. So our milk's at 58 degrees and it's automatically stopped. All we need to do now is pour our coffee. Our steam wand will automatically purge to clean itself. Swirl our jug to integrate the texture. Swirl our espresso to break the surface tension. Now we're just going to pour our milk straight into our espresso shot. And there we have it, cafe quality coffee at home. As simple as that. Well, uh, milk texturing is a joy, I have to say. It can compete with any commercial steam wand. I'm impressed.